Do you think the media were unfair in the way they covered this story? <laughs> they were absolutely unfair. I made the point that how could it be that the story about me ran for two weeks when the story about when the Chilcot papers came out ran for two days? How can that possibly be fair? And, I mean, let's not forget, and, of course, you know, Nick, I'm going to now have a pop at you for the, the BBC headline, fraud uh, case into former MP Michelle Thompson. It wasn't a case, and it wasn't into Michelle Thompson. That is not even, like, misleading. It's quite simply wrong. And for two years, even though at the start of it, the former Lord Advocate came out and said that there was going to be an investigation into the solicitor, how was it for two years the papers invariably reported there was an investigation into me? Even the police, I believe, became frustrated and came out and said, no, it's an investigation into the solicitor. And I had to pay a lawyer to get uh, retractions from quite a number of papers. They did retract it and then no sooner, boom, it's an investigation into me again. I mean, it's not just... I mean, I actually believe it's somewhat uh, sinister. At, the, at best, it's lazy journalism. At worst, it's sinister. But either way, it's simply not good enough because it was inaccurate and it was never true. And it's still not true and time has proven that. I, mean, I, I will point out very, very briefly, <laughs> I think the BBC's justification for using the word case was uh -huh. that case is a catch-all term. It's much broader than saying there was, for example, a criminal case or a Crown Office case if something's investigated mm. by the police. Some people would see it as a case. I, I, just to add on to that, I mean, actually, it's not case, it's case into former MP, yeah? That is the thing. So I can accept the catch-all thing around case, but it was case into former, it wasn't into me, it was into the solicitor, of which I was one of many clients that he had. And there were many solicitors doing this with many, many clients as well. And it's the fact that there was a continual linkage. And of course, a linkage between myself and Natalie McGarry, who's in a totally different set of circumstances. We were pilloried and we were hung out to the dry by the media. And, you know, headlines like that, they do contribute to a considerable dim diminution in trust in the, the BBC. And, you know, to yourself, Nick, at least you had the kind of good credit to issue a, a correction and, and thank you for that. But the headline itself stood... It wasn't into me, it was into a solicitor. And I think really, you know, actually maybe an apology from the BBC would be acceptable as well.